Men are not meant to be dominant. Men are meant to be submissive. They're meant to be worker ants. They're supposed to listen to women. You are a queen. They are worker ants. That's how the system is supposed to go. Because men do not have the ability to think for themselves. They don't. They don't have higher intellect. Women have to guide men to higher intellect. Because men are stupid. We women must take charge. I don't even know where to begin with this. If you think I hate long fingernails, I really hate them on a man. And I hate them even worse on a man who thinks he's a woman. That young man needs to be in a mental institution and he needs to be at a nail shop and he obviously needs someone to wipe his rear end because he can't do it. Like this nigga hurting my fucking feelings, so you basically hurting my daughter feelings. Like if I know that your daughter is the most important thing to you, I'm gonna use that shit against you. Like I know you look forward to seeing your daughter every day, especially when you get off work, that's the first thing you wanna do is hug your daughter, see your daughter. When you wake up, you wanna see your daughter. I'm not gonna let you see that. I don't give a fuck, nigga. You gonna feel every fucking thing that you just put me through. Like, you gonna feel that shit. All them tears that I just did this morning, you gonna feel it. Like, I don't care about none of that shit. Being a bitter, ooh, I don't care. Cause you should've thought about that shit before you tried to go behind my back texting this bitch. And then the thing about it is, he erased it on his phone. But you know how you, if you got an Apple iWatch, you gotta erase it on an Apple iWatch. That's where I found the shit at. He didn't even, he forgot, I don't know, he forgot to erase it on his his um, watch, but it was erased on his phone. Like, nigga, you try to play me. Like, now you gotta feel this shit. You gonna feel this shit. You gonna feel not being able to see your daughter every day. Like, you, like he's seeing his daughter every day since she literally came out of me. Like, you gonna feel this shit. I promise you, mark my words, this shit gonna eat you up. Yeah, minor. Don't even say anything. Just keep walking, please. Ew. We're good. Oh, was you gonna say shit? Have ah! It looks like you were gonna say. Step one. Be stern. Be a man. Make me wanna stop playing with you. Cause if you let me run over you, I'm gonna run all over your ass. If you open that door, I'm kicking that bitch down. Boom. <laughs> Period. This is a message to my beautiful ex, bro. I was stalking his TikTok, and this man got a glow up. Hello. And why, why, why did I just find out about this? He looks like Didi Osama, but like, you know, he could never reach Didi Osama's level. But you know what I mean? He's, he's close. Unblock me, please. Unblock me. Literally, hey, bro, just unblock. Yo, bro. Oh my God. This man, this man. Wow. Now that he's in high school, he's not going to hit me up anymore because he got mad bitches on his dick. But come on, bro. Let me, let me be one of the hoes. At least, bro. I just want to be one of the hoes. Please, unblock me. Oh my God, I'm so sad and desperate. This is not gonna end good. Mm-mm-mm. Unblock me! Bro. I hate my life. I literally hate this shit. I could treat you better. Bro, please, like, come on out. What are you doing? Stop playing games. Unblock me! My husband packed all his things and left me because he found out I was selling pictures of my feet. Piece of shit. Nah, I'm just saying though. So, so you ain't fuck that nigga? So you trying to tell me you ain't fuck that nigga? No! I would never cheat on you! I want this to last forever! I would not do! Okay, but that's not the point. I didn't know. This is a business, an establishment. And if you were working for me, you would be fired.
All right, well, I'm going to call you back. All right. Damn, you ain't even fuck. Oh, uh, uh, never mind. What? You said you're going to call me back. You were supposed to be like, bitch, you ain't going nowhere. Nah, oh. this, ain't, this, ain't, this ain't the time and place. I don't want to embarrass you in front of you. Embarrass me. Disrespect me. Tell me what to do. Uh-huh. But never mind, because you already showed me you weak, Kiana. I can run you over now. Bye. Oh, wow. Bye. On a more serious note, can one of you hoes teach me how to ask niggas for money and just ask niggas for shit in general? Because I don't know how to ask niggas for shit, and this is not a flex. Bitch, help me. Now skip to my loo. Jersey. Oh my God, Leah. What the fuck? Sad as no taxi, you might be she back out of bottle like Betty Boo. Can't say her night, then my loo woo woo. She had one, I beat her the leg, and she know the truth. Um, if you guys want to prove me wrong and show me what black men are really worth, hit my DM. Yeah, show show me what show me what the black kings are about for real. Hit my DMs. <laughs> You should smoke, but it's literally 8 a.m. I want coffee. Can someone it rail so me, tired please? of living through smoke. a global pandemic. Smoke. Smoke. I should order a breakfast Damn, sandwich. Damn, my life is boring. I want a boyfriend. Are the Starbucks Sweet workers gonna brew. be mean to me? Now skip to my loo. Jersey. Do, 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 Oh my God, Leah, what the fuck? What did you say? A lot of... And all the rest of this stuff here.